Hi, my name is Eric. I'm 10 years old, and I'll, today I'm going to teach you about zebra zaps. In this tutorial, you'll be learning about the toolbox, which is this thing, little bob, right over here. The uh, first three tools are the work tools. There are the selection tool, the zoom tool, and the pan tool. Now, the selection tool, which is the one I have selected, kind of looks like an arrow. Um, anyway, you can use this to select things. See, I selected my rectangle. I selected the oval. I selected one of the radio buttons. I selected the other radio button. I selected this piece of text. And an, uh, two other things you can do to select. If you want more than one thing, you can take a marquee, drag it out over everything you need to select, and everything there is selected. Now another thing you can do, you can hit shift, and you can click more than one thing. See, now I've got most of these things selected. Anyway, the next tool is, I said, the zoom tool. It looks like a magnifying glass. You can zoom in to anywhere you need. See, we're zooming in to the mag, we're zooming into the radio button. Wherever you click, that is the center. So here's the radio button. Now I can. I can go up. Now, if I'm correct, we are inside of the square. Here's basic zebra zaps, and you can do all that. Anyway, so you can hit 100% over here, or you can go up, up here, and click that. Anyway, next one is the pan tool. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag a polygon out over there. Ooh, I need to work on that polygon. What I do, I go into this, move down here. Now I can work on the polygon. And then oh, I need to work back up here. I can come back up here and work up here. Oh, I need to work on that. And so on. See, so I can move it around and the shape goes with it. And you can just hit the uh, that in the corner. Anyway, the next three tools are the primitive. Or the next six objects are the primitive objects. The line tool, path tool, um, polygon tool, rectangle tool, oval tool, and the text tool. The line tool. I have one up there. You can draw a straight line and you can also hit shift and the line will only go, go to 45 degree angles such as 0, 45, 90, 135 or 180 and then you can let go shift and it goes it will go every single degree and you can just let go of the mouse when you're done and you can hit you select it and hit delete to delete anything that would work for anything here's the path tool now the thing that's cool with the, the path tool is you can make any path you need so I can start it here by clicking click to get an endpoint click again click again you can also click and drag to get little circles and bend the line, but I'm not going to do any of that. I think I actually might be able to. Let me just... Yeah, here we go. I'm going to drag it. Uh, see, I get these little circles. Let's see. You hit, and then you hit enter. And again... Um, we won't, don't worry about any of these. 
and then just press enter again. And now you've got your path. Next tool is the polygon tool. See right here you get you can have any side you want. Like if I want a decagon, I can tap in 10, hit enter, and there you go. I've got a decagon up here and I can drag it out. And then you can use this kind of rotate it around that little center of rotation thing. I don't know if you can see it right here and you can you're supposed to be able to move it. I forgot how. But you can move that around and get it to rotate different ways. See, now I can kind of tilt it and it's kind of like this as I move it around. And that's the polygon tool. You can use any, um, any, any way, uh, you can use any amount of sides you want. Then there is the rectangle tool. Drag it out. And there you go, you've got a rectangle or a square. Circle oval tool. Drag it out to get circles. Text tool. This is one of my favorite ones. You can input text and do any. Click somewhere else. Click on the text. And now you can shorten it longer. This is one thing with the text tool, you can shorten it. You can make like one letter on each. So you got V, got V, 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 and stretch it out again. And then make it kind of go back, stretch it over. Yeah. Next, the next tool is obviously. Sm the, these, all of these tools are the smart objects. Um, these are divided into different uh, sections. It's these six, these three, this one is alone, and these last five. Um, this one, the uh, first six that I said are the interactive objects. Button, radio, button, checkbox, input text box, slider, and clock. The button is it's uh just a button. It kind of has rounded size, not like a rectangle. Let's just point it, and you can actually press it. Um, and it's really use. It's really good for a start or go button, cause uh, I didn't know if you noticed. So I'll drag one another one. See this text? If you double click on that, you can type on it. And you can type. And next is the radio button. I've got two examples over here. Now you can see that they have got these little squares around them. That's because I made them into a button set. You select the, the buttons you need. See, hold on a second. Select the buttons. Go up to arrange, and go down to make button set. And there you go. You made the button set. Now the thing with the button set. See, I select the radio button. It's gone down here. Oh, I want it down here too. Oh, it's gone. I better put it up here. The thing with the button set is it only goes in one. It will only go with one. The next is the checkbox. It's uh, pretty much the same as a radio button, except you can do this everything the same, except this is the difference. It's an X and it's squared. So don't be confused with a button and a checkbox. Uh, if you look up here, that kind of has a little line in it. This one has an X and it's squared. Next one is the input text box. This, you cannot text it right now, but when on run, which I'm sure you'll learn in a later tutorial, what you can do 
is take it and put text into it. Like if you, if you, let's say, um, you need you're making multiple flash, you're making flashcards. How are you gonna, how are you gonna, how are you gonna type in the numbers? Simple. You use an input text box. That's where these come in real handy. Next is the slider. This is another one that comes in real handy. This is used. You can go up and down, make numbers go up and down with it. You can see the value right down here. You'll learn what this is called and stuff in another one, in another uh, tutorial. So, and that's, um, that's what this is. You'll learn what that is, and you can see the value go up and down. And here's the clock. Now these two, the slider and the clock, work really good together because you can make every time the clock goes around one rotation, the slider goes up, and you can make the clock um how many ever seconds a rotation is. That's what you can do. The clock. The next three are the media objects. These ones I'm not going to show you. It's the sound. It is the uh, audio, video, and map. The audio, video, and map. The the uh, audio is used for playing sounds. The video, obvious. And the map, it shows a Google map. Um, the arena is a multiple page container. Uh, and we'll have more about these in a later tutorial. Actually, I think we might have a tutorial all about these. Um, neck, uh, this is its own little section. It's not in, it's not in the logic, I mean, media objects. It's not in the media objects. This is its own little one. Next three are the logic objects. We have the calculator, the web link, truth or false table, answer table, I mean, yeah, answer table, and the state table. The calculator is used for making expressions and calculations. We'll have more about this later. The web link is used for collect, connecting, uh, taking links off the web and putting them on. The uh, truth or false table, uh, it and the answer table and the state table. We'll have more about these in the later tutorial too. Um, but that is the toolbox. And if you have any questions. Um, you can send me an email at zebra zebrazaps for kids at zebrazaps.com. It's right down here. Zebrazaps for kids at zebrazaps.com. Um, now you can make the setup for your. Now you can make the setup for your project, and hopefully, I'm guessing it'll be a pretty good one. Uh, see you in our next tutorial.